Do you ever feel like you just bit off more than you can chew? That is us right now. Somehow we agreed to hosting a family of seven here for about three or four weeks before we really realized how much work we had left in the attic. So we are down to the wire literally one day before they plan to arrive and we have so much to do. So today is gonna be that day. It's gonna be the get it all done cleaning day. I don't even have my to-do list up here with me right now, but a couple things left to do is I need to finish painting. I don't think I'll get the walls done in the last bedroom, which is okay. They won't change color a lot, but it would just help it to feel like cleaner because the walls are kind of stained. But I do need to paint the closet doors, so that is on the list. To get a rug, we need to make all the beds. We need to clean the attic. We need to also clean the windows, which they're like these three or four layer thick old windows which are a pain to clean. You have to like reach all the way around which when you're on the third story of a house is a little bit scary <laughs> but that needs to happen. We need to finish arranging the workout furniture in the common area. We need to finish setting up this like breakfast nook area. I need to move some other furniture around, hang some curtains, run to the thrift store and see if I can find a lampshade that I'm still missing as well as some picture frames for one of the bedrooms. So that's supposed to go down up here today and then I also really should mow the entire yard which is another couple hour job as well as clean the house since we were working up here till midnight on Saturday. The house is a disaster. So we have our hands full today. I am excited for the day. I can't wait to see what it looks like till the end of the day. I also want to give you a tour of the attic then. I know we've been working up here a lot but haven't really shown it to you guys. I wouldn't say this is the final product yet but the change from where we were before is drastic. Let's get to work. So this is the room I've been working on most. These are the closet doors that still need to be painted uh, inside and out. But what I have been working on is this bunk bed. You might remember it from the kids' bedroom. It was black. Then I painted it a classic gray, which is basically like a tinted white. And then I'm working on the trim, which I painted Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter, which I think is a fun little accent. What I don't want to show you in this room is this mess back here. So we have a ton of stuff that <laughs> needs to be taken out to the storage room so that our guests can use these closets. This attic space has honestly just been kind of a mumble jumble place since we moved here and I have wanted all this time to turn it into this beautiful space for guests. We're in the process but also it is a process. First thing I think I'm gonna clear this closet space out so that I can actually think clearly to work in here. I need to figure out the rug before I paint the closet doors to make sure the closet doors don't clash terribly with the rug and then that'll also help me figure out for the bunk beds here. I did get a it's like a super antique-ish looking dresser for this room at a thrift store the other day so I need to bring that up here. I was gonna sand or paint it but I have a feeling I'll have enough to do today so that might just have to to wait until after this family leaves. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once? Finding all kinds of treasures already. Found the box that has my wedding dress in. I never got it professionally preserved, which I probably still should, but so fun to find that. So many good memories wrapped up in there. I think I'm gonna keep this one in this closet. Since it's pretty big, I think it'll be fine to keep that in a corner of it. I don't really want it out in the storage room where it could get kind of musty. And also all of these, so you've probably seen in the living room pictures that I have up on the wall above the couch and I've done that for years. So it's always so fun to look back on all these older pictures when the kids are so tiny. Look at that. Look at me. I know, that's you. Look and how little you are. Me. No, that's Lessie. Oh, that thing's an old picture. <laughs> yeah, who is that? Look, who's this? It's mommy with me. <laughs> what do you think? No, I'm going to do some school. Oh, and then this, I think, is the next year. Oh, oh that's Lessie. Lessie. Hmm. That's you. Hmm. <laughs> I so love that picture. 
Congratulations! Aww. Yeah, he Six. missed that! I guess three years! To lead my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some my mom quilted apparently when she was pregnant with me and then used when I was a baby but look at the cute little duck oh careful honey Aww. and then the I love the detail on here isn't that so pretty I somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. and I still wonder where you are okay hit a couple bumps in the road, you could say. Abby screaming and screaming a lot of the rest of the morning, so it's actually noon time now, a little bit of a late lunch. I just brought my food up here since Josh is able to watch her over lunchtime. That way I can hopefully knock out a couple things while she eats and hopefully is happier. I noticed she's working on another tooth like back here, so I, I guess that's what's bothering her. She's not sick or anything but just wants to hang on to mommy all the time. I just threw together a really simple salad. It has tuna on it, and then some roasted potatoes, and then some sour cream and salsa. Super if easy. You found a way out from the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind better <laughs> we can actually walk now which is nice I've been looking around for a rug here and I just can't make up my mind rugs are so expensive to just buy something that you don't absolutely know if you like so I still haven't made up my mind I was trying to think if we had any rugs up in the storage room that I could use I know we don't have anything like I had in mind but I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I could substitute and still somehow make look nice. But this feels a lot better, all this space in here. We do have a couple of things in here, but I thought that would be okay. Just things that I don't really wanna take out to the storage room. There's a violin from back in my music days. Oh, and I also think I decided, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint these closet doors the same color as the trim, which is Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter. I just feel like with it being such a tiny room, I don't know if you can actually tell how tiny it is in here but I feel like it'll so easily feel kind of overwhelmed <laughs> when you step in so I think that would be my best bet it'll still contrast from the wall but that's what I've decided for the closet doors I think heading out to the thrift store. I'd like to see if I can find a couple of picture frames for that one room. And I also need a lampshade for that room. So the thrift store closes in an hour, so we're gonna quickly run out there and hopefully we have success. was basically in and out which is good because I have a lot to still do. I had seen some frames there when I was there the other day so I knew exactly where they were and picked up a couple of them. I want to change out all the pictures in these but I'd also like to get some rub and buff to touch up the frames a little bit. Some of these are a little too like orange for my liking. I like more of a matted gold. This is the smallest one that I got um, has some pretty details on the edges and then I got this one a lot of them have um, some sort of design on the frames and then this one I'm not sure if I will include here but I know frames can be pretty expensive and I liked that this is just a very like simple basic gold frame 
And then this is, I guess, the star of the show, the one that will actually <laughs> cover what I need it to cover. And I don't love this picture, and I would like to rub and buff it, but let's see if it fits over this piece. This is what I'm trying to hide, and I think it's going to be big enough. It looks like it. Well, maybe. Oh, no. It shows a little. Let's see. Though, if I... Okay, so it's big. It's like exactly the same size. My plan was then to take some of the other frames and make kind of like a collage on this wall. But there's a nail that's up a little higher, so I'm going to have to see if I can figure something out. If Josh can put this nail lower for me or what. But it looks like it would cover it if I just hang it a little lower. So yay, I'm excited for that. That should look nicer than having this here. You found a way out from the dark The stories I've been told Never seem to leave my mind mm, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm. Bruce says they come and they go And we have to try and keep up after four and <laughs> I'm not nearly finishing my to-do list today but you know what it's okay one thing I think that's so important to remember when you're in super busy seasons is you accept even when you don't get everything done and not just like way overwork yourself like today I have worked hard, I have worked consistently, I have not sat around and wasted time. I think I just planned way too much for today. As long as I did my best, that's all that I can expect of myself. I am actually heading into the motorhome right now to, oh, I miss this thing. Let's go on a trip, shall we? Came to get this um, hot water kettle to put up in the attic for guests. Anyways, it would be really easy to just be super hard on myself now because I still have a long to-do list. It rained so I couldn't mow, but it's okay. We're gonna get done what we get done. Obviously the most important thing here is that the guests who are coming feel comfortable, feel welcome and at home. And sometimes that doesn't only mean having everything looking perfect. So I hope that despite the imperfections up there, they can still feel very welcome. Just can't get over these dahlias. So beautiful. Nowhere even near slowing down yet.
morning. Last evening we actually ended up picking a box spring for in the attic. It has to be a split box spring to be able to take it up the attic stairs because there's a sharp curve, but we found one. So that's moved up there now. We picked up two mini fridges, then we painted till midnight. So <laughs> this has got to stop soon. We'll get done what we get done today yet and then they'll be here. Side of fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. that this attic is finally ready <laughs> for company. Oh, that was so much more work than I was originally anticipating and it's not where I want it to be yet. There's definitely some things we wanna add. Some of the areas still feel kind of bare, but it's come a long ways from where it was and at least it feels clean. This is the biggest bedroom. This dresser, I still wanna switch out sometime, but it works, it's here for now. And then this is just a really simple little setup over here. Oh, I was thinking I should put a couple oils here. I'm honestly not a huge oil girl, but I have that here, so I may as well add some oils. And then obviously the star of the show is this giant wall mural all along this wall. So, so pretty. My sister actually hand painted this. Oh my word, can you even believe it? She's so talented. And we have the bed here. This is just bedding from Amazon, but it's like linen and super comfortable. I've ordered from that same store a number of times. And we just have some little touch lamps here. They also have a spot for an outlet there, which is nice if you're trying to charge your phones. And then this is the big mirror that I got at the yard sale, two for $30, was it? Um, super fun. By the way, I didn't do an outfit of the day today. This is an H&M tank that I wear literally almost every day. And these pants are actually also from H&M. They're just linen, green pants. And then this cardigan was uh, thrifted, so. 
that's the outfit of the day. Over here then are these built-in bookshelves. Again, I would like to uh, style these a little better at some point, but it'll do for now, and then just have a little accent chair. We lost our outlet covers, so I'm gonna see if Josh can pop one on there. To the right here, this is the bathroom. Nothing fancy, we hardly did anything in here, honestly, but it has a little vanity, and then obviously, the tub and then behind the door is the toilet and we have some towels and stuff in here for them. And then the next door over is probably my favorite bedroom up here. I love this room. We have the built-in closets here. This room is actually too small for a dresser. But this first, I think I showed this to you before, it has shelves in this first door that you can put your folded clothes on. And then this mirror, it's kind of like one of those anthropology dupe mirrors that I just got from Kirkland's. And then it has a lot of different quirks in here with the way the ceiling is. Absolutely love the shape of the window there. And then these curtains, I think, are from Ikea years ago. Lamp was thrifted, love that pottery look. And then the tree in the corner is from a website called Nearly Natural, it's an olive tree. And then the panel wall that Josh did. Uh, and the bedding is from Parachute Home, you guys. This is the fluffiest duvet you could probably ever find. The um, sheets are actually also from them. They are their linen sheets. I'll try to link everything down below. Over here we have the frames that I got. I did not rub and buff them yet, and they also don't all have pictures in them yet. So this look should change at some point, but it'll have to do for now. And then the next room over, it probably needs the most work. We did get the doors finished, the closet doors, which looks a lot better. I'm still missing one knob over here that I need to um, buy another one of. And then I put a lamp in here because one fun fact about this attic is there's very little actual lighting. So there's this one little like sconce light, otherwise, there is no lighting. So this one can be controlled by the switch. So that's nice. Another one of these really pretty like cathedral-ish um, windows, which check out the view. I love the view out of all the windows up here, but this one is pretty. You can see the field out there and then down there is where the cows are, the, the pregnant mama cows. <laughs> so that's fun. I just put bedding on right now that I have on hand. These sheets I think were from Target. Duvet cover is probably from Amazon as well as the throw. And then I, I need to actually put like a sleeping pillow on here. I have the accent pillows. I'm really excited to see this room with the rug in. So can't wait to see it when it comes in. It does have these hooks like all around, which is a pain to paint around, but I guess it adds character. And I hear they used to not have closets, so I'm not sure how, like when these arrived on the scene, but apparently they would have used to hang their clothes around the room like that, so. That's a fun fact. Okay, let's check out the main area yet. These are our chairs that we just got off of Facebook Marketplace, uh, just to add a little bit of seating up here. All of this, I will say, is not how I want it to be in the long run, but just trying to make it as like comfortable as I can for these next couple weeks. For here, I just set up a little kitchen area, and then obviously we have the workout stuff. We have the treadmill and some weights and the weight bench and dumbbells and kettlebells and all that. And then here is just a tiny little sitting space. Oh, and did I show you the ceiling? Y'all, this is my favorite part of this whole room is this big, like, what's this called? Cathedral ceiling? Anyway, love the wood shingles. Okay, I better run to the store for some groceries yet, but thank you so much for following along on this crazy last couple of days. I hope that my next video can be a little bit more back to normal and at least we're getting to bed at a decent time, but there's seasons like this and I'm trying my best to just embrace it and learn from it, learn how we could do better next time. So thank you for being here and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.